Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. care about low-income minority communities, start protecting the air that they breathe and stop trying to rob them of their health care. If we allow climate change to go on as it's going, the refugee crisis we have at the moment will look like a tea party compared to what's going to happen in a few years' time. Survival is an everyday struggle. I'm Amy Goodman. We're broadcasting from the UN the rising sea levels are cutting off access to surface right now around Hundred billion dollars. That's one fifteen of the size of the UK. And that's all we're prepared to give. Swarmed by the ever faster melting of Himalayan glaciers, and we are all arguing about the swarming waters of the river destroying these islands of sand. This is a small drop. Drop. No way. It's a and we are all they often exist for barely six or seven years, forcing the local population into exile. We need to help these people. They're not just coming over here because they want to do it. We've got to try to make this plan. Even though climate change is Those Americans the most. Um, we're the most the, vulnerable. These extreme Whoa. lives to continue. After the crisis, the job is more than twice as likely to be hospitalized from asthma. The Latino job is 40% more likely to die from asthma. But the reality is we all share, we do the same air, we drink the same water, we eat the same food in many places, and those things affect all of us. Now I see People cannot live without dignity and they cannot live without hope.